Stilatit and King Charles III and his wife Queen Camilla arrived in the country on Monday night for a four-day state visit and were received by President William Ruto and his wife Rachel Ruto at the Nairobi State House. Sixty years since Britain colonized Kenya, Dickens Levanda gives us a picture of the King's royal visit. The year 2023 marks 60 years since Kenya gained independence from the shackles of its British colonial rule in 1920 when King George VI, the father of Queen Elizabeth II, took power. December 12th annually is a holiday in Kenya which is marked in honor of that independence. After his visit to Kenya in 1971, 1978 and 1987 as a prince, the first son of Queen Elizabeth II, Charles Philip Arthur George, who is known as King Charles III, visited Kenya again on October 31st, 2023, accompanied by his wife Camilla. The two boarded a Royal Air Force plane that landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi on the night of Tuesday, October 31st, and were received by the head of ministers, who is also the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Musalia Mudavadi, alongside the British ambassador to Kenya, Neil Wigan. The visit is first of its kind to Kenya since he took over the reins from his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who died in September 2022 and is the first as a monarch in a Commonwealth country. And any comments he makes on the history of British colonialism are expected to be closely monitored, according to analysts. <laughs> During his four days visit, the king is expected to deal with deeply painful issues of Britain's historic relations with Kenya during the British rule which ended in 1963. This will include the emergency of 1953-1960 when the colonial authorities declared a state of emergency in response to the Mau Mau guerrilla campaign against the European settlers. More than 1,000 people were executed by hanging during the emergency period, and the death toll is estimated to be in thousands. The royal family and the British government are blamed for the disaster left to Kenyans, such as allocation and ownership of large tracts of land to a few rich families. The vast fertile land switching from central Kenya to the Rift Valley was known as the White Highlands and was owned exclusively by settler farmers. The natives were pushed aside to make way for European farmers own better and fertile land. The colonial government used its air power and ground forces that included many Kenyans known as home guards to organize brutal crackdown against the Mau Mau. After independence, large pieces of land was given to home guards who collaborated with the colonizers as Mau Mau continued to be seen as a terrorist group. Up to date, the British government continues to be blamed for brutality and atrocities meted on Kenyans. Dekan Sulvanda, Hope TV News.